On 3rd June 2023, Iran and the Taliban exchanged heavy gunfire on the Islamic Republic's border with Afghanistan, killing and wounding troops, while sharply intensifying rising tensions between the countries. The immediate cause of the violence is unclear, but it is almost certainly related to the dispute over the Helmand River, and that's quite shocking because the two countries have been at peace with the agreement for over a century. So, why? And what exactly triggered the dispute between the two nations? This is the Helmand River, a major river that flows through Afghanistan and into Iran, which is a vital source of water for both countries. And this is Lake Haman, the largest freshwater lake in Iran. In 1975, the Haman wetlands spanned a few thousand square kilometers, but a combination of mismanagement and a 30-year drought have sucked it completely dry. The Helmand originates near Kabul in the western Hindu Kush mountain range and flows in a southwesterly direction for a total of about 1150 kilometers before emptying into Lake Haman. And now the Taliban's decision to divert water upstream has triggered Iran. And this is not the only reason, but might be one among the reasons that triggered the dispute. The Taliban and Iran don't get on generally for two main reasons. First, the Taliban are mostly Sunni. While Iran is majority Shia and the Taliban don't treat Shia and other minorities particularly well. Second, Iran prefers politically stable neighbors because it has a latent separatist movement in its own Balochistan province. This province is home to two million ethnic Baloch people. In the 1990s, before the United States intervened in Afghanistan, Iran actively supported the Northern Alliance, an anti-Taliban resistance group that controlled parts of Northern Afghanistan. This was because Iran saw the Taliban as a threat to its own security and stability. In 1998, relations between Iran and the Taliban deteriorated sharply after Taliban forces executed Iranian diplomats in the Iranian consulate in Mazari Sharif. This act of violence was a major turning point in the relationship between the two countries. However, the dispute has become more acute in recent years due to climate change. Climate change is causing the glaciers in the Hindu Kush Mountains, which feed the Helmand River, to melt at a faster rate. This is reducing the amount of water available to both countries. On Saturday, a shootout occurred between Iranian and Taliban forces at the Sosali checkpoint, which sits a few miles north of the Afghanistan city of Zoranj. In response, the Iranian army deployed heavy weapons including tanks and armored vehicles on the border and closed the Zoranj Dalaram Highway which runs from Zaranj to the Iranian city of Zabul. The Zaranj Dalaram Highway, also known as the Route 606, was built by India in 2009 and is one of Afghanistan's busiest roads providing an important trade route for both Iran and Afghanistan. It first became an issue in the 50s where in Afghanistan, then one of the more prosperous countries in the region, started developing hydroelectric dams on the river. Iran got anxious that these dams would mean reduced flows into Sistan and Balochistan, and in March 1973, the two sides signed the Afghan-Iranian Helmand River Water Treaty, which basically guaranteed Iran roughly 10% of the Helmand's flow each year. It looked like things were going to get better in 2010, when the US-backed government restarted negotiations, but the return of the Taliban has ruined any chance of progress. While the violence has went down, the two sides still don't see eye to eye on the Helmand River and tensions look likely to get worse as climate change puts even more pressure on the water supplies in the region. This is because both countries have become increasingly reliant on the Helmand as other sources of water have disappeared and the Helmand itself carries less water than before. Annual precipitation in the region is about 50% lower than it was 40 years ago and the ham and wetlands which used to supply most of the region with water have basically dried up. The disappearance of the wetlands has also exacerbated sandstorms in the region because none of the sand is picked up by the water, which is why Zabul has the dirtiest air in the entire world. While Afghanistan has other sources of water available, Iran is now facing an acute water shortage and a third of Iran's population now suffers from water shortages. All the violence has decreased, climate change is likely to cause tensions to rise in the future, making further violence a possibility. Ultimately, we'll have to wait and see what happens.